Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to pair the Sony DualSense controller onto macOS Ventura. So this is going to work on any modern Apple Silicon Mac or any recent Intel Mac as well. As long as the Mac is running macOS Ventura or later, then this tutorial is going to apply to that. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tutorials. So what we're going to do is to go to the Bluetooth menu first. So we're going to click the top left hand side of the screen and then go to system settings. And then within the Bluetooth menu on the left sidebar, this is the new location of the Bluetooth menu. This shows all of the currently paired Bluetooth devices. So there are none at the moment. It also shows Bluetooth devices that are ready to be paired. So on our DualSense controller, what we're going to do is to hold down the share button, and then we're going to hold down the PlayStation Home button. I want to wait for this to start flashing. And as soon as that starts going to pairing mode, you'll see it on the macOS screen here. So here I'm going to press the connect button and you'll know it's connected once this goes into a solid light. So you can see here that there's a blue light here and a white solid light here. And that means that it's been paired. And here it's asking us for accessibility access. And that's because I pressed the home button while Steam is running in the background. I'm just going to go to privacy and security and then allow Steam accessibility control. So now that this Bluetooth controller is connected, it's going to work with many games. So we're going to open up the game Cult of the Lamb, which I have running in the background. And because I've got the controller already paired, if I move the left analog stick, it's going to start controlling the character on the screen. So anyway, this is how you get the Sony DualSense controller working on modern Macs running macOS Ventura or later. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.